Earlier today, Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona uh, voted yes as a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee to advance the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh for the Supreme Court. Um, but he stipulated that he wanted to support the nomination um, only in the event that it was po that the vote was postponed for a week to allow for an investigation by the FBI into the charges that Kavanaugh was a molester or rather a, uh, a guy who raped women at parties. Um, and a lot of people in the last year or so, ever since he announced that he wasn't running for re-election, um, have been speculating that, oh man, maybe Flake can run against Trump, maybe he's going to primary challenge Trump. And we've heard, we've heard similar whispers about Corker, the uh, Republican from Tennessee who also announced that he's not running for re-election. But my thing is this. They, 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 the mainstream media hypes up Flake as someone who is uh, opposite of Trump, that has differences, that's the maverick, the one who's going to vote less likely with Trump than other people. My problem with him is the fact that if you look at his voting record, it's mostly in favor of Trump, meaning that there's not, it's not so much of an ideological difference, which is what should be important in a field such as this. It's people wanting style over substance. Sure, sure Flake's style is better than Trump's. It's uh, polished and rehearsed and less likely to gaps. But if we're talking about actual issues, I can't see, a, a, dare I say, Flake presidency being anything more than what we have now. The same seven wars, the same lack of action on the banks. Um... Same surveillance state, no repeal of the Patriot Act. All of this stuff would just stay the same. And they and the, the media doesn't want you to talk that way. And a lot of these Democrats don't want you to talk that way because they, they want to believe in their their heart of hearts that there are Republicans who are not um, following along with the, ma the party at all times. And there are, and their, na their names are Walter Jones, and that's about it. Um, but when you tell them this idea that, you know, you, you can't, be so hell bent on uh, you know a person's behavior versus what they actually stand for, they completely lambast you for it. What do you mean? The two parties are different, and that's obviously been something I've been saying for a while that both parties are the same. But you know I've given my reason for that. The bottom line is that when you when you look at um, Flake's character and the fact that his positions are similar to Trump in terms of his voting record. I could not see a scenario where if he if he were to mount a primary challenge against Trump or potentially run years down the line um, where he would actually stand out or be anyone's first pick for anything. You know, it's, it's kind of funny that when I was uh, reviewing the uh, Republican primary from the last presidential election, one of the things I noticed was that a lot of the platform of Cruz effectively uh, was carried out by Trump. So it's really, when you, when you notice that and you look at, you know, for example, the 2008 primary with Obama and Hillary, you start figuring out that these people, for the most part, are the same. You might get some real big shift like Bernie versus Hillary, but ideological differences in these parties are on maybe one issue or two, and that's about it. Everything else uh, is just repeats, and people want to live in the fantasy that, you know, if we, if we get this one guy in here who, I guess, speaks better... Maybe we can get something of re of rationale or reason. And if you are opposed to Trump for things he's actually doing rather than, oh my God, he put out a tweet and I didn't like it, you're not going to get that. The best bet you have is to let Flake flake off after uh, retiring from his Senate seat and just pick somebody else. But I, I've, I, I laugh at such discussions. Flake is different from the rest of the Republicans. Not really.